Hi lovelies! Over the past week, I have found myself with this really strong craving for potato wedges. You know, like the really crispy kind that you find at restaurants. And no, I am not pregnant before you ask in the comment section. I just have this really strong desire to eat potato wedges. And to be honest, that's probably the best part about being a food blogger. Whenever you have a craving like that, you can essentially just go into the kitchen, cook up something delicious and call it work. So today I'm going to share my favorite potato wedge recipe here on the channel. And these are really simple to make, but they're so crisp on the outside, soft and fluffy on the inside. And I serve them up with a smoky chipotle ketchup that just takes them right over the top. All right, so to get started, I have got some potatoes here, obviously. I've opted for russets in this recipe. Those are my favorite when it comes to potato wedges, but you could use yellow potatoes or red skin potatoes instead if that's what you have on hand. I find russet potatoes end up with the best texture after cooking, so that's what I'm using here. I gave my potatoes a really good scrub with a vegetable brush to make sure that the skin is nice and clean because we're not gonna be peeling these. And now it's time just to cut them into wedges. So I'm just gonna cut my potato in half and then I'll cut each half into quarters. So each potato should give me about eight wedges. If your potato is a little smaller, maybe you wanna cut it in two thirds instead. Okay, so we've got our perfect little potato wedges all cut. Then I'm just going to rinse my potato wedges under running water and dry them really, really thoroughly. This is critical because the more dry they are, the more they're going to crisp up in the oven. I like to just turn them out onto a kitchen towel like this and then just work them with my hands until they are totally dry. We're just gonna let the kitchen towel absorb all the extra moisture so that when we go to season them, they are completely dry and that oil is going to stick to them. Now that my potato wedges are nice and dry, it's time to get them seasoned. And the best part about this recipe is that you can really use any type of seasoning blend that you want here. So I've done this with a Greek seasoning, an Italian seasoning, a Tex-Mex seasoning that gives you this really yummy flavor. But today I'm gonna keep things really, really classic with a combination of some paprika, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. The first step, of course, is a little bit of oil because we want to make sure that our potatoes get nice and crisp on the exterior and oil is going to help us do that. So I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil headed in here. Next, I'm going to add some paprika. You can use regular paprika or smoked if you want something a little smokier, that would be really yummy. I've also got some garlic powder headed in here, some onion powder, and of course, a nice helping of salt as well. Once all of that is in my bowl, I'm just going to use my hands to get in here and make sure that everything is really evenly coated in that oil so they get nice and crispy all over. And of course, you want that seasoning to be well distributed so you get great flavor in each and every bite. And just as soon as I've got these nicely coated, I know it's time to transfer these over to my baking sheet. But first, I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> So you'll notice here, I've got my baking sheet lined with some aluminum foil, and this is going to help my potatoes get nice and crispy, prevent them from sticking, and also make cleanup a total breeze, which I love. And I'm just going to arrange them in a single layer. It's really important that you do not overcrowd your potatoes, even if it means you have to do two trays, that's fine. But you wanna make sure that they're not sort of stacked on top of each other because they won't get properly crisp that way. You wanna make sure they've got complete contact with the baking sheet when they head into the oven. Oh my gosh, guys, these already smell amazing and I am so excited. We are going to get these beauties into the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes. After 20 minutes, I take them out, give them a quick flip and then get them back into the oven so they get evenly crisped on both sides. After about another 10 to 15 minutes, your potatoes should be nice and crisp on the exterior and nice and soft on the interior basically potato perfection. Now, of course, those potato wedges are going to be delicious just the way they are. But if you wanna make them extra delicious, which you know I always do, I highly recommend whipping up a little bit of this smoky chipotle ketchup for dipping. Trust me, you will not regret it. It's super easy to do. Basically, I've got some ketchup here in a bowl and to it, I'm going to be adding one chipotle pepper in adobo sauce that I've just minced up. 
Basically, you've got the smoky spice from the chipotle pepper with the sweet tanginess of the ketchup coming all together. Oh my gosh, it makes the perfect accompaniment to these oh so perfect crispy potato wedges. Okay, can we seriously talk about this perfection? Look how gorgeous the color is here. Yes, people. Yeah. Fun for a party, perfect as a side dish, or all on its own. Oh yeah, you're in for a treat. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do and that you will give it a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, is available on healthymealplans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. What could be easier? And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.